Hey guys, Luke here. Welcome back to episode 5 of Win 1, Take 1. Now, I've got to clear up a few things. Now, i just start off this episode. seeing a few people saying, oh, you know, come on and play some Super League sides and that sort of stuff. Now, what I'm actually doing in this series is just going through and playing from 16 to number 1 of the NRL sides. And I think eventually I will take on some, like, rep sides and that sort of stuff. Uh, then in question mark with um, taking on Super League sides is the fact that I'm not really familiar with a lot of the players. And I think there's only, like, two or three good sides that might have some players you could add to the side. In saying that though, uh, last episode we beat the Panthers and I think we beat the Warriors. So in between those two sides we've got you know a good chunk of the side and I think the Broncos also make up a good portion of it. Uh, we see Trent Merrim from the Dragons who uh, we got from maybe the first second episode. It links up with Dugan there. Uh, but he got the intercept which uh, led us onto the attack. Five minutes in, Ben, uh, sorry, Riley, not Riley Brown, uh, Lewis Brown take to the line and puts Chris Lawrence over. Uh, thankfully, he didn't drop the ball like he has in the past. And then our new signing, Luke Walsh, who come in for Thomas Lulua. I think Lulua played a total of one game. Um, and the reason being, like, you might say, why wouldn't you play Lulua over Walsh? You know, he's a better player or whatever. And that might be true in the sense that, like, you know, he, he's a better player overall. But at the same time, I think Luke Walsh fits into the side a lot better. Uh, we've got the kicking game there. I've already got a runner in Ben Roberts. And I think Ben Roberts is better than Lulua on the game by far. And you see here, this is what I mean by runner. Ben Roberts uh, can't quite beat Zillman, who is really good in this game. Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, a lot better than what he probably should be. But then our fullback, Josh Dugan, um, finds his way over the line. It was a really risky pass, which probably should have been intercepted. But they're the sort of passes that, for whatever reason, the game just doesn't pick up. Um, as, you know, taking an intercept and we ended up scoring. It's like the players sort of become stuck and it's happened to me. It's happened to uh, probably you if you're, if you're watching it and play the game and you probably know what I'm talking about there. See, 29 minutes in, Ben Roberts has the ball um, stripped off him and it's going to lead to a few chances just for half time for Titans, which they didn't really have too many chances. See, Kevin Gordon just goes in the corner, I think, with seven minutes for half time and it's just way too easy. Um, very disappointed in our defence. Sort of pride myself on the defence. I don't usually can see that many tries apart from um, intercepts, and you know intercepts are hard to defend against, obviously because you know the game is a bit weird with that sort of stuff. But Aiden Caesar goes and slots the goal, and I wouldn't mind having an Aiden Caesar in the side. In terms of um, players who I would, wouldn't mind from the Titans, obviously they've got a pretty good forward pack, and you know our, our forward pack's not the greatest. We've got play players like Lewis Brown in the starting side, and we've got a pretty um, small bench, I would say. Although Segiari um, of the bench, he's very small, but quite useful. We'll be using him, um, although McCullough can play the whole game. Um, you see, they went through and probably should have scored a try, but I think Dugan just came up with a massive high shot, which I'm not going to complain about. See, Ben Roberts here makes a break. Well, he didn't quite make the break, but the team did. But then we throw an intercept here. Now, Chris Lawrence, quite quick on this game, but just can't keep up with Gordon at all. Just got completely left behind, which would have happened in real life, but in this game, Chris Lawrence is a gun. So it was quite disappointing, especially the fact that we had a break. And it's just one of those games where that... Uh, it's one of those moments where the just, game just glitches out or whatever and instead of Nightingale catches the ball, it just like spazzes out and Gordon just teleports to get it. See Moimo here who's come up with about five or six big hits, um, comes up with another one, um, which was very good. I think lately he's just been hitting people, uh, hitting people for fun really. Um, yeah, but in, in terms of like players that we could get... Um, you know, I suppose Zilman would be a good, would be a good one. Idris, all those guys, they'd be quite good. We do have a lot of players who can play, like we've got a lot of backs who can play in the forward. So getting some actual forwards would be um, quite good. But we've got an extra time here, so I see no um, bonus players or anything. But Josh Dugan's just going to step through and he's going to take it around um, Gordon. Or was it Mead? I'm not sure, but Mead's going to come back and he's going to try and make the tackle. Idris won't get to him. Josh Dugan's going to win the game for us. What a try that was! And I was so thrilled to actually score that. Because it's been a fair few times in, in the Salford series that I did, where I'll score lengthy field tries, and um, I've never really been able to replicate it on the live comp series or anything. But to actually have tried that, just to show that like I've still got it, um, it definitely, definitely was nice. And we're going to go ahead and get a few Titans players. Um, I'm not really sure if they're going to be worthwhile because like we've got a few bench players and a winger. Although Luke Bailey could be quite useful, I suppose, but uh, it most likely not because not really that great in this game. I think the second player is Ryan James. Now he is a pretty he's a pretty solid player, I suppose. Um, not the best player, but um, he's he's pretty solid. This is back before he sort of really hit the scene hard. Um, and then the last player is David Mead, who don't really have any interest in using. To be totally honest with you, we've got so many other better wingers: Nightingale, Vatavai, uh, to name a few. Yeah, Yee, just so many. Um, we're stocked with backs, so unless we get a real standout like an English or someone like that, a Josh Morris, a Brett Morris, like it's. Not, I'm not really interested. Are they Brett Morris already? 
the ship has already sailed for him. I've already taken on the dragons. Moving into the second game, this is the first team, which are the Cowboys I'm talking about. Uh, they're the first side that were taken on that was in the eight. So they came eighth um, in that game. So obviously Titans came ninth. So yeah, they came eighth in 2013, which is where we're going from. And they do have quite a few players that we wouldn't mind getting. I mean, obviously the forwards, they got a pretty good forward pack. Uh, Matt Scott, James Tamu, um, even like the Sims and that sort of stuff. And then obviously they got the best half in the world, Jonathan Thurston. And even even Matty Bowen at fullback probably would be quite useful. We could slot him into the halfback role or something. I'm not sure where we'd play him, but yeah, we could slot him in the side somewhere. But then Vatavai is going to score four minutes in. And at this stage, I'm thinking, bonus player, 20 points. Come on, let's go. Like... If we, if we go by every five minutes, we should be able to smash the shit out of this side. Isn't going to happen, obviously, but uh, in terms of like keeping up that score every five minutes. Um, but we um, should be able to get pretty close. We're, hopefully, if we play to our potential, um, or at least sorry, at least get the, the twenty um, the twenty points for the bonus try, uh, bonus player, I should say. So Nightingale there put in a little grubber, nearly got to it himself. Um, it's so frustrating that animation where they dive on the ball, how you just can't do anything else. Um, I mean, realistic, you just dive on the ball, but it didn't happen. See here, there was a chance there. Um, ben Roberts just put in a little grubber, which somehow deflected off uh, Cowboys play. But Nightingale absolutely gets destroyed and thrown over the sideline. That would have been a really nice try, in my opinion. So we had a really hot start, and I was saying I thought we could keep kept it up. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. It was only 6-0 at half time, and we scored in the fifth minute, so obviously not much happened. But yeah, yeah, going to make a break, and did get uh, caught. Friday got tackled with the ball, but McCulloch's going to score uh, not too much longer later, pretty much next to the post, so it's going to be a 12-point lead, but that was a great try of McCulloch. We don't t score too many uh, tries from Hooker because the game's really is not the best for uh, making runs from dummy half, but... When the opportunity is there, I don't care, and I'm going to go for it. Uh, Luke Walsh just slots the conversion, as he would. He's a great goal kicker, and he's not going to miss those sort of ones. Yeah, yeah, he ends up with the ball here from Walsh. Um, our right-hand side, I think, is the lethal one, although Chris Lawrence is great on the right-hand side. Um, we see Thurston coming across, as he always does. Always tries so hard, it's even replicated on the game. Uh, Vatavai is just going to pile him off so easily, so calmly. It was sort of similar to the way Dugan just piled off David Mead. But uh, we're going to try and break the... Um, score out to an 18 point lead um, it is successful so there we have it an 18 point lead we just need two more points and then we've got the bonus player at, at this stage i was sort of thinking even the 30 point one so we get two bonus players probably won't happen hasn't happened thus far into the series um, but you know this might be the game vatavai makes a bit of a break here walsh just linking up with everybody so well um, he's been a great fit into the side see here this is a pretty terrible play but nearly turned into something here chris lawrence just using his space here and i never usually do this sort of stuff but we did it this time. Vatavai is going to pick it up after another shitty pass by, um, I think it was Yayi. It's not the best pass. He's not a known passer. Just pacing that. But we're playing in the centers. Um, right before full time, I think it was about 73rd minute here. Kane Linnett's going to get it intercepted. Seguiara is going to come across. And he's just going to close line him, uh, close line from Hillim. Um, although there was no, um, like, Simmins or something. Nothing like that, which it would have been in real life. Uh, Tom Lalo is just going to, like, push over Dugan. And then they're going to end up scoring. I think it was a Louis or whoever's playing 5-8-4 at that time. They're going to end up scoring. Um, you see here, might even be Michael Morgan. I'm not really sure. But the green lights are going to be confirmed right there. And, uh, you know, it's very disappointing. You can see right before full time. Considering that we're looking at getting 30 points at some stage. And we didn't even get 20. So, just going to get the casual... Um, just going to get the casual uh, three players. Although, that was actually Ashton Sims' score. That, so, I'm not sure why I thought it was a half... But number 14, number 8, and number 13. So we do get some pretty good picks. Now, Cross Jason have no plans to use him. Um, but I suppose he's good in depth. And not that we really have any use for depth. But he sort of makes out the squad. And makes it look a lot better than probably what it is. But Matt Scott, Australian International. Uh, Queensland Queensland prop. Like, probably one of the best props in the game. What a pick we could have got. The only other better one probably would have been Thurston. Then Dallas Johnson. Um, sort of been retired for a few years. People sort of forgot about him. But... He actually is quite useful, could slot into that lock position, be our workhorse of the side. Um, whether he's in the side for long term, I'm not really sure, but for now, could be uh, a good addition to the squad. That's where the video is going to end. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Hopefully you can drop a like, subscribe to my channel. Uh, 25 likes would be very much appreciated. If we can get that, I'd be very, very happy. And also, if you want to follow me on Twitter, at MrLukeMyT is my handle, and I'll see you in this next time. Bye, guys.